This is a groove. This is also a groove. This is also a groove. But what makes it a groove? There's three elements as a general rule going on under the hood consistently in grooves. First element, the kick drum. It can give you the pulse, the underlying information that your subconscious hears when you hear the music. Allow me to kind of embellish this a little bit. Take for example, a disco four to the floor. The bass drum's job is to tell you how fast the music is and where you should kind of be dancing and feeling everything. It's giving you a lot of raw and simple information. But if we make it a bit more interesting, a bit more complex, then you start to see where it doesn't fill in all the gaps. Kind of missing something. And what it's missing is the second element, which is the backbeat usually played on the snare drum on beats two and four. So if I try and incorporate that now into that beat. The role of the backbeat is to kind of give you that back and forth that you need as a listener to know where you should be moving and how you should be feeling a groove. So we've got the bass drum on one and then the snare drum on two and so on and so forth and you get that back and forth. Even that on its own sounds pretty cool. But you can tell, again, something's missing. We've got a lot of space going on here. And if you want to get really, really technical with it, and if you're a producer, the frequency ranges we're currently covering are kind of the lower to the mid range. So we're missing that extra detail that our brain really likes and makes it go, ooh, that sounds nice and crispy, yay. We want our grooves to give us a bit of everything. If that makes no sense, worry not. If the bass drum is the foundation, the snare drum is the walls hi-hat or whatever you end up doing with your right hand is everything else it's the detail it fills in the gaps especially when it comes to subdivisions and timing let's take an eighth note groove for example this gives us some more high definition information for example what feel this groove has Snare drum, bass drum, exactly the same, but completely different vibes just because of the rhythm going over the top. And it makes it all the more impressive when people play drums because we're bringing so many different elements together at the same time. But just as a general rule, if you want to make people move, backbeat and bass drum are king. If you want to hold a band together, however, and you're trying to develop your snare drum and bass drum, keep the hi-hat going. For the love of God, you've got to give people something. Now going into just a little bit more detail, I'll try not to confuse you too much. Bass drum sometimes, if not a lot of the time, follows or at least mimics some of the bass line that's going on, helps tie together the low end of the band and makes everything just a little bit more cohesive. Two and four is almost always there, even in more complex grooves like this. It's still there, it's just hidden a little bit often with some ghost notes in between. It just adds a little bit of extra spice when you do ghost notes and other fancy stuff, but the backbeat is always there. Some exceptions to this might be if you see like a James Brown groove and you get a displaced snare drum, which can sound really funky. or your more kind of Afro beats thing. But then usually you have a bass drum that's a bit more consistent to hold everything together. Lastly, right hand can go wherever. It can still be a groove in if you're, even if you're over here, up here, on the ride cymbal. And as you get more advanced and you're kind of over here and not on the hi-hat, or even if you are, you can start to engage the left foot and make things even more interesting, adding a four layer to your grooves. If you're doing something a bit more interesting with the right hand, you can have that consistent element keeping going in the left foot. Just 
helps keep everything together. It makes things more sonically interesting as well because you've got an extra layer going on. So hopefully now it makes a bit more sense what's going on underneath the hood of your grooves and it's something to bear in mind as you're playing.